For this poem, you will need a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. I'm writing with a Sharpie so you can see it on the screen. So, the poem is all about you. Now, as you can see here, I've written down various words and I want you to copy this onto your piece of paper. So if you start with I am and then I wonder, I hear, I see, I want, I pretend, I say, I hope, I am. So you might want to pause the video so you can write all this down on your piece of paper. Once you have written this down, I want you to think about you and think about words that describe you. So I've written some common words here. So friendly, funny, brave, loving, kind and patient. Now there could be another word that describes you. So if you just want to think about that for a moment, and then we want to write it down here. So I want you to think of two things that describe you. So as you're thinking, I'm going to write two things that describe me. So I am patient and friendly. Now you can put whatever you want in here. It just has to be what describes you. Now the next one, I wonder. Now this is something that you're curious about. So it could be you wonder if it is going to carry on raining today or whether it's going to be sunny or where what you will do at school or what you will do the next time you're at Zed Arts. So something that you are curious about. You could wonder why the leaves on the trees a green, you could wonder why the sky is blue, anything that you think about and are curious about. So for me, I wonder whether it will be sunny soon. So I'm going to put that there. I wonder if it will be sunny soon. Okay. So the next one is I hear. Now this can be something that you hear at the moment. It could be an imaginary sound that you can hear. So I am going to put a sound that I can actually hear, which is the birds chirping. So I hear the birds chirping. If you just think about what you can hear and you put that there. And don't worry about spelling or anything like that. We just want to get the words down, okay? So then, I see. Now this can be something imaginary or it can be something that you can actually see. So just think about that. Just look around. What can you see? I can see an elephant pushing a ball. So I'm going to write here that I see an elephant I'm going to use my imagination now. I see an ele elephant playing football. Now the next one I want. Now this is something that you want. Um, so it could be anything. Just think about what you want at this moment. Now I am going to put that I want a piece of chocolate. Now the next one is I pretend. Something that you pretend about. Maybe when you're playing, what do you pretend to be when you're playing or what do you pretend to do? And think about that for a moment. 
Now I am going to put that I pretend that I have superpowers. I have superpowers. And now the next sentence is I say. So this is something that you believe in. So just think about that for a moment. Something that you believe in. Now for me, I say that everyone is equal. You could say, believe something else. It's just important to put something down that you believe in. Now the next sentence is I hope. It's something that you hope, maybe something that you hope will happen or something that you hope for. Now my hope at the moment is to see all of you children at ZR soon. So I'm going to put that there on my sentence. So I hope to see all the children at Z Arts soon. So you think about something that you hope for. Okay? And now this last sentence is I am and we repeat the first sentence. And there we have it. We have a poem. It would be wonderful to see what you've written. Um, so please do share what you have created. Or you could even do a video reading it out. So I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye bye.